After that wonderful <laughs> holiday, I wanted to go back to learning. I love finding out about things. So I went off to the University of Warsaw in our city. But guess what? They didn't allow girls. Please go away, you lady. Girls were meant to cook and clean, even if they were clever like me. Only boys were allowed to study hard. But we knew that there was a place where girls were allowed to be taught, and that was in Paris, the biggest city in France, a long way from our country, Poland. But we needed money for that. My sister Bronja and I hatched a plan. You go off to Paris, Bronja, and I will get a job as a teacher and send you money to pay. And then later, you can pay for me. Good idea, she said. While Bronja set off for Paris, I did the hard bit first. <laughs> I became a live-in teacher in the Polish countryside to some spoiled, naughty children who didn't want to learn anything. I stayed there for five years, waiting for my day to come. Finally, my turn came, and I got on the train to Paris. It was an awful journey. Four days long and squashed up against the window with nowhere to sit down. Phew! I was hot and tired when I got off the train, but happy to finally be in Paris. I didn't have much money on me, so I had to live in a very small, cold flat at the top of thousands of stairs with no light, lots of leaks and not much water. I couldn't afford much food, so do you know what I lived on? Bread, butter and tea. That's it. Gets a bit boring after a while. 